Have you realized that we all started to live faster than we used to before? The other day, I realized I live my life at 1.25 speed. Everything, including fashion, beauty, and our perception of what is trendy or not, changes quickly. And we're all trying to keep up with it so as not to miss anything. And honestly, it's a bit tiring. Like, how am I supposed to fit every single trend or certain way of just being fashionable? It's nonsense and it needs to slow down. Sometimes, and I know I'm not alone in this, I get overwhelmed seeing all these trends, watching all these people who keep telling us what is trendy and what is not. I've always believed that there's not a single way to be fashionable. I embrace that motto and I think it's so liberating and fun. But sometimes, I just can't stop myself from thinking about the nonsensical things they've been saying. I look at my outfit and wonder if I look good enough. Even though I'm confident in myself, I can't help but wear the judgy sunglasses of the others, ready to outcast me as out of fashion. I used to enjoy fashion and now it just got a bit difficult for me to handle. And I'm saying this as a person who loves timeless pieces instead of trendy ones. Well, sometimes I just want to pause everything, take a deep breath and move on. Oh my God, this sounds like a depressing extract from my private diary. Don't worry guys, I promise I'm okay. <laughs> Say it! I'm okay there. Anyway, as I'm done sharing my haunting thoughts before I go to bed, let's cut to the chase. Today, I want to talk about why everything changes so fast with my online besties, but don't worry, it won't be so depressing because I'll keep my focus on fashion trends. Back in the day, fashion trends had a longer impact on people. I'm talking about the days when we loved fashion magazines. They were our primary source of learning what was going on in the fashion industry. Okay, no matter how boomer I may sound, I'm not a boomer. In fact, I'm too young to be one, but I guess I kind of miss those days. I have this feeling of nostalgia for the early days of fashion despite never experiencing it. I feel like fashion had a meaning back then. It was more artistic, charming, and intriguing. Even when I was a child in the early 2000s, I remember the days I was dying to learn what was new in fashion with the newest edition of whichever teenage magazine I was hooked on at the time. I used to get excited while waiting to see someone, mostly an iconic celebrity or a model, following a newly introduced trend. In fact, that's how they would convince us to follow a trend, by showing a person who had the impact to impress and convince us. But now, all it takes is a POV, you're the most stylish girl in the room type of video and boom, it goes viral and we are introduced to a brand new trend. That's one of the many reasons why a fashion trend can't last longer than a Netflix show, you know? It gets forgotten almost in a month. Oh, social media, the demise of my existence, I love you and I hate you. The thing is, everyone who devotes themselves to content creation needs to offer something unique to their viewers. Whether it's their style, content, or way of connecting to their followers, there must be something catchy. Some of them are trendsetters, while some of them are good at keeping up with the trends. But no matter what, they have to bring something to the table to satisfy their viewers. That's how they make money. That's why they're in constant need of trying different things. They have to think fast, act fast, and find their places on social media. Just to be clear, I don't judge them. I'm just stating facts here. The same thing goes for brands and designers. They need to come up with new ideas and while doing so, they have to consider social media and its power on potential customers. I believe they are no longer free to design whatever they want or think is the best. They need to play the game in order to make more profit, to be seen more, and it's a bit sad actually. It kills creativity, the true essence of fashion. I mean, sometimes I feel like we are witnessing the last days of fashion and it's heartbreaking. I know there are plenty of designers out there who are dying to show their vision and we probably even don't see them. Of course, fast fashion contributed to this nonsense. Actually, it's still feeding and creating a never-ending cycle. They keep releasing new collections that follow certain trends just to appeal to a wider audience who likes to be trendy for less money. Like I remember how I couldn't find a normal fit sweatshirt because oversized sweatshirts were something huge. The same thing goes with the mom jeans, baggy pants, cargo pants, crop tops, low rise jeans, chunky sneakers and more. I can keep counting a bunch of different things till the morning but I think you got the point. Fast fashion knows what's trendy and refuses to produce anything else that doesn't follow a certain trend. Since the trends are constantly changing, fashion lovers go and buy a bunch of things that will go out of style. I actually made a video on this and I'll leave the link for you guys. For now, let's stick to the topic. Samantha Harmon, a stylist, says, and I quote, We now buy five times as many clothes as we did in the 1980s, and yet we're typically only wearing between 10 to 20% of our wardrobes. Trend cycles have gotten shorter hugely due to social media. 
Traditionally, we had the spring, summer, autumn, winter shows. Now we've got new collections coming out practically weekly. She recommends shopping your wardrobe, which means we need to take a look at it, rediscover the hidden gems we already have and put an end to this fast fashion cycle because to be honest, there's no way we can keep up with that. She believes trends are something we'll wear for a limited amount of time before it falls victim to obsolescence and I fully agree with her statement. The process is faster now. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we used to wait for affordable brands to give us something after the trends proved themselves. But now you see Shiv Roy following the quiet luxury trend, Gwyneth Paltrow going to court and the next thing you know, you're wearing all these quiet luxury appropriate clothes and standing in front of your mirror wondering if you've nailed it or not. You watch Euphoria and makeup brands immediately introduce sparkly things, glitters, vibrant colored eyeshadows. Chanel introduces a new collection, people like it, boom, Zara covers us. They don't lose any second to offer you what you need or what may go viral. Like the industry doesn't keep you waiting because they know if they wait, they will miss the hype because the trend will probably fade away. To increase their profits, they decrease the waiting. Another thing is, and this is my observation, we no longer get fully satisfied with what we have. We tend to want more, want something different, interesting. Because when a brand new trend invades social media, we just get overexposed and get bored of it quickly. They are just whims, nothing more, nothing less. Back in the day, we would enjoy the trends because they would never get this common, at least this quickly. It wouldn't be wrong to say that social media changed every aspect of our lives, I guess. I wonder what awaits us in the future. Like, is there any any way to fix things or is it too late? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a bat emoji, it's completely irrelevant but it will confuse the early quitters and I love that. Then you can go and watch this video next, I bet you'll love it. Thank you so much for watching, till the end, I'll see you soon.